Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I had a dream about following Jesus. He was walking along and I saw his flowing robes and his footsteps walking and then I was walking beside him and I knew the Lord was telling me to follow him and walk with him. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 5, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? God was communicating a spiritual truth to us in this verse. I was wondering how salt could lose its saltiness. One of them is by contamination and another is by separation. So we need to be careful about being contaminated by the things of this world. We need to follow Jesus. We need to stay close to him and not become wrapped up in the things of this world to allow the enemy of our souls to come in and separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Another way is by separation. In other words, if a grain of salt is separated from the other salt, after a while, that little old grain of salt will just lose its saltiness. But people get wrapped up in things of this world so easily. And I just learned today about this man that I had been curious about many years ago. My mom and I had gone over to visit this man that owned the property where she grew up. And he had shown us a map of all the different acreage around him and he was wanting to buy more land. And I got curious about him because Boy, that was a very important subject on his mind, I could tell. And I thought to myself, he already has about 600 acres of land. What is he going to do with more? And I asked him, I said, well, what are you going to do with the land you're going to buy? And he said, oh, you can't get enough land. I could just tell that that was uppermost in his mind, and it was his God. I thought to myself, he's old, and he doesn't look like he's going to last long, but I found out today that he had passed away, and I just wondered about his soul, because we've got to make sure that God is our God, now, I'm not saying it's wrong to own land or own things. I'm not saying that. It's just that we need to make sure that we make God our priority because we want to remain salty. We are the salt of the earth. And we can be a great influence on others. Many times we may not realize how we are influencing others. But God wants us to be a great testimony for everyone that we come in contact with. He wants us to be salty. He wants us to communicate to others how important it is to be with God to be with Jesus, to follow in his footsteps. And I think about this man in the Bible who was rich and he had all these 
assets in life. And he thought to himself, Oh, I'm going to go tear down my barns and I'm going to build me bigger barns. And God said, You fool, this night your soul will be required of you. So he didn't end up in a very good place. He was placing his possessions in his worldly goods before God Almighty. We need to make God our priority. And we need to do what he says when he says, You are the salt of the earth. And not allow ourselves to lose the saltiness that Jesus Christ has given us. We need to realize the importance of this life because God has allotted to each one of us a certain amount of time. We may think that we have plenty of time, but we may not. And the scripture tells us about how we have been allotted 70 years according to our strength. And if we live longer than that, it's because we have strength. But you know, even when we're young, we can pass on. But young people probably don't even think about being old. I remember when I was young and... I don't think I thought about being old very much back then. And I didn't even think about how time passes so quickly. It passes so fast. And I think it's kind of hard to tell a young person, you'll be old before you know it. <laughs> if you live long enough, you're going to be old before you know it because time passes so quickly. So we need to look at our lives. We need to examine our lives and say to ourselves, Jesus wants me to be salty, and that's what I'm going to be. And I'm going to redeem the time while I am here. What does it mean to redeem the time? God wants us to be busy about the Father's business. He wants to think about bringing people into God's kingdom. We need to realize how important it is to be salty. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.